This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. This is the closest to magic I've run into in a long time. It's called Slice X and Track X. It's published by Cormelt. It's available at the Cormelt website. $99 for each one of these or $149 for the bundle. Cormelt.com. What it does is it shape tracks selected regions or motion tracks. Watch this. This just leaves me speechless. What I want to do is I've got a shot right here. And notice how the red arrow tracks with our dancer. For instance, with this, this is just me holding a white card. That's the white card. As I move the white card through, there's nothing on it. But when I turn this effect on, now I motion track a piece of moving video in the white card that moves as I move it. Is that not cool? Now, had I done a better job holding this, I would have held the card in such a way that my fingers don't go into the edges. That was a bad piece of production. Otherwise, then I could have the video fill the entire edge of the card. But here's how this works. Let's go to Generator, add a simple tracker. Select the clip. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a shape around that which I want to track, which is the girl right there. That's what I want to track. Then I'm going to select an image by clicking the, the well over here and finding that which I want to track, which is the arrow, which is there, and click Apply. With the arrow selected, let's go back to the tracker. With the arrow selected, I'm going to rotate the arrow. And we'll offset it just a little bit horizontally. We'll offset it just a little bit vertically. And again, we'll hide this, and we'll say click the Track Forward button. Notice that I didn't set any tracking points. What happens is this uses an underlying technology called Mocha, and Mocha is a planar tracker. It looks at the objects underneath the selected area as opposed to specific tracking points, and as those objects move, the tracking area moves as well. Now, I'm running long on time here, so I'm going to shorten this by not tracking the entire piece. I'll just click here to stop it. But as I drag back and forth, notice that the arrow tracks wherever she moves because everything underneath that shape was tracked. Well, we can do even more than this. If I go down to here, Core Melt. Let's say that you have somebody whose face you want to blur. All right, this is our, our dancer. And I realized that I can't show her face for political reasons. She's happy to do the dance, but can't be identified. So I've applied a blur. And notice that now as she moves, the face automatically tracks with the blur. I'll use this by just sliding back and forth. The way this works is really simple. I add, select the clip, go to Effects, Slice X, Blur Shape Mask, and drag it on top of the clip. It gives me a shape. I'm going to just uh, Option click to get rid of these points. Delete the point, delete the point, delete the point, and delete the point. There we go. And delete this point. Delete the point. There we go. Scale it back, drag it up. Now I'm gonna. I could, if I wanted to, make this much more closely resemble her face, but this will work for what I want to do now. So I've got the the shape set, positioned over her face. Click the track to the right button, and as she starts moving, not only does the shape track with her, but the blur tracks as well. So as she moves, I'm hiding her identity without having to keyframe it. The keyframing is being done automatically. Let's just drag this back and forth. This will look best when it's rendered. And I have the ability to smooth the shape. I can soften the edges. I've got tons of parameter control here. But the ability to motion track has just saved me a ton of time in terms of having to set keyframes. Now this next one is magic. Watch this. This is the last one I'm going to do. 
let us pretend, hypothetically, that I've got two jets here, and I want to make this jet disappear. Think of a car that's parked in the middle of a shot that I need to make disappear, or a spectator behind the actor that's making faces. I need to make the spectator disappear and keep the actor. We use the object remover, drag it on top, and I'm going to drag this shape here and drag it on top of the jet. Make it the size of the jet slightly larger. There we go. It doesn't have to be real big. That's it. I just simply drag it. Now, the magic is this. I'm going to track this. And as the jet moves, as the camera moves, this is an air show, and camera's panning with this jet as it's flying around. Okay, notice that the jet is changing position. The jet is changing size. The shape is changing position. The shape is changing size. And again, to save time, I'm going to do just a little bit of this. Stop the playback. Pull back to here. But here's where the magic comes in. With the clip selected, I'm going to go back to the inspector and adjust the offset. And I'm cloning, like we learned about in uh, the Photoshop lesson last week, I'm cloning this region here and putting it inside that shape. So now as I play it, look at this. I'll just drag back and forth. The shape is moving, but the jet is totally masked because it's cloning this area under the green and putting it in the area under the white and motion tracking everything so I can make that spectator disappear. I can make that car disappear. I can make the jet disappear. This is incredible. The products are SliceX and TrackX, and they're made by Cormelt. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins in Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 129. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.